So how do I motion track text like this? Well, that's gonna be today's topic, right? So let's start with making a new composition. I'll use 60 frame rate and full HD resolution. Uh, now import your clip. You can just drag it like this. And like this. So I have my clip. Now I have to motion track this. I'll explain that in a second. Basically you just right click and click track camera. This procedure takes quite some time. I mean this is like 5 seconds long clip and look it will take yeah, a minute. So if you have longer clips it will take maybe 5 minutes, I don't know. So here we are. So basically there's a lot of points that appeared. So what are they? Uh, basically just places the computer found to track. Look, points don't really move, right? They just stay at one place. So that's their point. You have to make a platform which tells the computer where's gonna be your text. Like this, see? It just creates a platform from three points. So the important thing to look for is that your platform will look towards you, like this. Not like, I don't know, uh, like this. This is not good, it's not gonna work. Like this, or maybe like this, because you see, camera moves this way. This, oh, okay. So when this happens, when they disappear, just click on 3D camera tracker, you know. It happened to me tons of times. When I was like starting with After Effects, I was like, no, I have to start over. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, luckily I don't have to right now. So another thing you're looking for is points that stay um, at the most of the video. You see, those three, those three look good. Look, they are there constantly. Yep. So just point on them, right click and create text and camera. So basically, the camera is what actually m like moves text, so it's just like looks it's like it's with your video, like this, right? And you have text right here. You can rename it to. Uh, this is pretty good, right? Okay, so another problem. Look, that tree, right? It doesn't really look realistic. Not at all, actually. <laughs> okay, so what you can do is you can mask it, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So I usually just point on this thing, click P to change position, and I just move it away. Yeah, something like this. And look now, it doesn't bother me anymore. You can also click R for rotation. Okay, so now it's pretty good, right? Better than before, I guess. <laughs> so this is basically 2D text, right? As you can see. Next time I'll do 3D text and 3D uh, things, which in needs plugin called Element 3D. It just element it here. It basically just Wait, it will appear right now on your screen. So the difference is that it allows you to add 3D uh, things in the video, while with this you just motion track 2D things. I prefer 3D things because it looks cooler, but in some cases this is useful as well, right? So the last step, of course, select the area you want to render. Here. And then composition, adds the render queue, you can select the settings, I'll use 30 frames per second. Um, for loses I usually use this, and you select output position, desktop for example right now, save, 
and render. Okay, so if this video was helpful to you, you can leave a like, it would mean a lot. You can also subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, I will do more for sure, like that 3D text or velocity, I will do velocity, don't worry guys. Basically for now, thanks for watching, see you.